Hi everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a collective love reading for all signs and any sign that you may be thinking of. Please use any of my readings to manifest the love that you are worthy of and deserving of or to confirm a love or what is going on in your life at this time. Welcome back everybody. And I do want to welcome a lot of our new subscribers. I've had a lot of new subscribers in the last month. I really appreciate you um, being guided here and joining my channel. And of course, thank you all for my um, very loyal supporters out there who watch me every morning. And I really love you guys and I really appreciate it. Spirit, please share with me any loving messages. What is it that you have for us? What is it that you need for us? I am listening for you now. Let's see what the cards are telling us today. Ask the cards. The cards always talk to me. The cards are always telling us what we need to hear. Let's see. I have reconnect. Number five, reconnecting to yourself. Okay, we, we that's a constant. I'm going to say that just always bringing it back to what's best for me, what's best for my um, myself right now, what's best for my future self. So always bringing it back to answering those questions on an ongoing basis so that you're making good choices a, along the way. And I, I think that that's really important. I have a transformation, the number 37, you're entering into a phase in your life, you're ready to transform, something new is coming. How about you're finding out, it, it came into me more as like you're finding your spirit, you're finding um, this feeling of I know who I am, I know uh, what makes me happy, I'm I'm more powerful than I ever was before, whether it's emotionally or uh, the uh, how I throw myself into things I'm passionate about. But I do feel like you, uh, it was almost like a, a blooming flower. Okay. So you are, you're blooming and you're growing and you're just in a better place all the time. So keep that energy alive. I have withdrawn coming out of something. Okay. So Number 19, you know, you could have definitely, and I think a lot of us have felt this way that, you know, there's been periods in our life where we just don't want to talk to anybody. <laughs> we just don't want to deal with life. We want to just take care of ourselves, And it's, it's almost like a, um, an animal that's wounded and it goes off on its own and it just kind of licks its wounds by itself. And, and sometimes you need that. Sometimes you need to just take care of yourself first and but then open yourself back up to this power and know that we all go through those phases it's when we pick ourselves up that really the magic happens because it is in the transition between something ending and something beginning that the magic happens there's something magical about going from I'm not where I want to be to um, actually achieving a, a major life change in your life to where you want to be. So that's where the magic is. It's in the moment. It's in the changes. So um, keep that in mind. Let's see what else they have for you. I have um, unveiled the love you long for is waiting for you to see it. I love that word. So is spirit ready to show you the love that is um, it's like behind the curtain and they're going to pull that curtain back and they're going to show you what it is that they have for you. So that is beautiful. Oh, you guys know I love a bridge. Here we are crossing what you want is on the other side of your fear. And all we have to do is cross over and I had a conversation with somebody in a private reading last night along the lines of when you decide that you are ready to receive, all of a sudden you'll look around and there's all kinds of people that are put in front of you that you weren't even seeing before. And it's because you opened up your energy and you are inviting it in. So for those of you that need to cross over to I am so open 
take this card, claim it, own it. I am crossing over to the other side and I am going to release that fear and I'm going to embrace whatever spirit shows me behind this curtain and resurfacing, create a solid foundation for love to build upon. And that's so important. We have to have that, that foundation. We've got to trust somebody. We've got to respect each other. We have to see a future together. We have to be committed to the us that is happening. But for those of you that know me, you know I love that crossing over card. Crossing over to the other side. Okay, spirit. Um, you know what? That right there makes my day. Let's see what the tarot cards are saying. Spirit, please share with me. What is it that you need me to know? Let's see what we have. I have a six of wands. Six of swords. Uh, seven of wands and I have a six of cups um, just for a moment I want to I want to grab the angel number 666 because I, I feel like I am and I know some at bottom of the deck I have the sun so let me just find oh my angel numbers are over there hold on hold on deck was on the other side of my reading room so I had to run over there and find it let's take a look at these numbers together so the bottom of the deck was the sun we'll come back to that in a second but I, I feel and, and the king of cups is on the bottom of the deck I, I'm gonna grab that I feel like these sixes are talking to me so let's see what they're saying let's start with six six okay your guardian angel is teaching you the essence of unconditional love you are encouraged to have faith that the universe will provide for you while you are manifesting your inner desire. So I am positive. I'm going to remain positive. And the six of, of cups is very much a feeling of what is your hopes and dreams and, and what is it that I'm looking for? So that I'm, I'm definitely um, tapping into. And then 666 is a wake up call for you to re-examine your current situation and change the direction of your thoughts so that you can raise your vibration to a more positive frequency and that you are centered. So when we are in this, I am ready to start. And I, I, I love that I'm, I want to go back to my crossing over point um, because is spirit telling me that I need to change my thoughts to create this beginning. Is that what's going on? Is what's holding me back from meeting the person that I want anything that I'm, I'm doing, how I'm thinking, my fears, um, I'm not going to meet the right person, I, everybody, everybody that's decent is taken. You know, what is it that you say to yourself that prevents you from meeting this king of cups so we want to cross over and we want to have this very open energy that i just believe is how i would always say it i just believe that spirit has this beautiful loving energy coming into my life and i am willing to cross over to find it i am willing to let go of control i'm willing to um, release any anxiety I have over starting over. Um, so there's a lot of things that we're, we work on, but maybe that's something spirit wants you to think about today. You know, is there something that you could be telling yourself differently? Could you be talking to yourself differently um, today so that you know that you're doing everything in your power to manifest um, the person who's meant to be in your life. Spirit, tell me more about this new beginning, this beautiful sun. Look at this gorgeous energy. Finances, financial challenges are affecting a connection. And that is a big issue. That that could be something that there could be somebody that comes across your path that they're just not in a good place. And you have to ask yourself, is this somebody that I can be in a relationship with? Um, is this somebody that 
I can't put out their fires. I can't fix their problems. So you have to ask some of those questions. It's not that you're not willing to help another person. It's if you're up here and your vibration, your vibration is up here and their vibration is down here because they have a lot of work to do. You want to meet somebody that is at the same vibration as you. So you want the person who is truly your match and finances is, is definitely a match. You want somebody who's in, in your league and somebody who is stable it is usually what we're looking for. Warning, don't dismiss the red flags. Listen to your intuition. You all have it. Trust that gut feeling out there. Keep listening. Interference and external party is intruding on a relationship. We don't want to enter into anything that isn't available. So you could be the external partner. <laughs> you could be the person who somebody is trying to seduce and saying, I want to be with you, but they're really not available. So we always want to know, are you available? Do you want a relationship? Are you stable? Like this is like basic stuff. Okay. And when you're not getting the answers to those questions, you're going to receive those red flags. It is spirit's way of telling you, like, don't go there. <laughs> this is your stop sign. Don't go there. It's not good for you. We have something else. Acceptance. Accept that everything happens for a reason. If you believe this, please comment below. Please uh, let me know that you live this way because it's the truth. And you have to believe that there is divine plan. We all have choices. Yes. But sometimes you cannot, you cannot put your head around something along the lines of synchronicity, right? Synchronicity, um, coincidences, um, you know, this, this, we can't define it. And it's a feeling of there's so many synchronicities that brought us together that it has to be bigger than us. So for those of you who believe and everything happens for a reason, everything happens in divine timing, that is, that is how you live your life. I'm going to say, raise your hand in the comments. Let me know that you do believe that um, because that is a great way to see how spirit works in your life. It's like, there's no coincidences is how I feel. Yes, we have a choice. Of course, we always have free will. But sometimes things are just so crazy. When you really look at how people are put in front of you, or the timing of a situation, or how we meet is so off the charts that people can't even believe it. Um, it, it can't be anything but but divine fate. You have to look at it that way. I have a knight of swords. Four of Wands, beautiful. King of Swords. And a Queen of Cups. I love this energy because this is telling me I have honesty. Spirit just said I have clarity. I have, um, I love you for you. And I also have commitment. I have a commitment. I have somebody who honestly, believe it or not, is going to look you in the eye and say, I want a future with you. I might even want a marriage with you. And so this person is 100% secure. So are they at the same vibration as you? I'm going to say yes, because you're going to want the same things. And I do feel like this person is crystal clear with, I see a future. I want a future. You are my future. And that is something that we want to hear that somebody isn't hesitating, Spirit just said, isn't holding back, isn't um, unsure of what it is that they want. If they say, I'm not sure what I want, I want you to believe them when they say it, because that is them telling you, I am probably not ever going to commit to you, but I like hanging out with you right now. So I want you to believe it. I do feel like a spark of love. I, I like these red cardinals. They're jumping out at me for some reason. And it could be lost loved ones surrounding you. It could be 
um, I don't know, just support of, of a couple of lost loved ones in, in the spirit world, um, supporting this new love. Look at this page, wanting to get this love started, being excited for you, somebody being excited for you and a nine of pentacles and you feeling a little bit of I can do this just came into me that this is the person I can I can do this with. So if I'm having a hard time crossing over that bridge, there's something about this person, their bottom of the deck, I have a two of cups and I have an ace of wands. So I'm going to say the instant attraction. Now, how it is coming into me, I mean, you both want to be mutually attracted, but masculine energy I hate to say it this way, but they almost need to have that chemistry. They they almost need to feel that instant. I don't know if it goes back to caveman times or what, but it is this feeling of masculine energy wanting to be very attracted to you. And I do feel that in this connection. I feel that the masculine energy in this connection is stepping forward and is very um, just physically attracted to you. I'm going to say it that way. And I think that they make it very obvious that they're physically attracted to you. Um, but I think in this case, I, I feel like the physical attraction is the first thing that happens. And we'd like to think that we fall in love because of all the other reasons. Um, but let's face it, if we're not attracted to each other, we're not going to get to the other reasons. But I do feel like there's very amazing. Look at the eye contact. Look at how I'm I'm just kind of gazing into your eyes. So I really feel like that that is important in this connection. So let's see what the love messages are today. I feel like spirit just needed to share with you today this sense of a reminder of what your own future is and how you talk to yourself. And then I do want you to look at these incredible synchronicities that are put in your life because this is going to be a story to tell. Okay. That's how I feel. It's our story to tell. And it's very much a love story. And it is a feeling of you're not going to believe <laughs> how we met. And Everybody, when everybody asks you, how did you guys meet? How long have you been together? Um, I feel like it's going to be this beautiful kind of set of circumstances and chain of events and synchronicities that anybody who looks at it is going to say, yeah, that is divine fate at, at its best. So I, I really love that because I do believe that spirit brings us together. And I do believe that it's um, sometimes you just look at it and roll your eyes because you just can't even, you just can't even believe like, what are the chances? What are the chances of this happening? So I have a psychic story I'll share with you. I had a reading years ago with a woman who said, is my daughter ever going to meet somebody? And I did a reading for her and I said, yeah, she's going to meet somebody. She's going to meet her husband at an airport is what I said. And she said, that's odd because she doesn't travel very often. And um, what are the chances of meeting your future husband at an airport? Well, fast forward, the next time I see her, she says to me, my daughter is engaged. And I said, you know, a year later or whatever, I said, really? And she says, you were 100% correct. My daughter got stranded at an airport during like a snowstorm. And the person sitting next to her, they were stranded for hours. They ended up talking. They talked for hours and hours because they were both, they kind of helped each other get food and watch each other's bags and things like that. And they exchanged numbers and it was a long distance relationship. And wouldn't you know, they're getting married, <laughs> like, you know, in, in three or four months from now. So she said, you know, when you said to me, they're going to meet in an airport, there was no way I believed it. And I said, I'm so glad you shared that story with me, because I love to get the feedback from people that some of these things that spirit shares with me 
um, you know, happen. So, but I feel that way in this reading. I feel like it's one of those crazy stories. I feel like it's what are the chances that we meet? Um, I'm going to say they're pretty good. So that's how I'm going to say it. But let's see what the loving messages are. I have, I think you are very talented. Okay, so I'm attracted to you. Um, I've liked you for a very long time. Okay, they could have a little bit of a crush on you. Wow, you are beautiful. I love that. I always love that. So you've got somebody, there's the attraction. And I feel, again, that masculine energy saying, I am so attracted to you. You are the most beautiful person I've ever met. You, There's something about you. And so they could just be totally, you know, <laughs> head over heels or um, just can't get over how how gorgeous you are, how handsome you are, whatever it is. Um, you're on my mind the most. I can't get you out of my mind. I always love that. And I'm very attracted to you. So I think that that is a big part of this connection. I think that, again, of course, we're going to have the other stuff. We're going to have trust and get to know each other and they make you laugh and all that good stuff. But I think that this is a very much wow energy of I am very attracted to you. And you know what? Good, because you deserve that. And you deserve to be with somebody that you just really love to look at. How about that? So let's put this out into the universe. Great reading. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for these messages, Spirit. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you always for your kind words and your comments. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please check out my website below, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.